This movie tells a story about a group of friends who discover how to conjure spirits using an embalmed hand. They become hooked on the new thrill until one of them goes too far and unleashes terrifying supernatural forces. First of all, this movie has an interesting premise. It has a lot of potential as the movie tries to shift the high school horror with social media era. Unfortunately, the end result leaves much to be desired. The story is thin and the movie shows very little interest in exploring the social phenomenon of going viral at any price. The movie starts decent, however, it loses its steam rather sooner than later. It succumbs to convention as it gives in to the cliches and horror tropes that have dominated horror movies for years. The movie stumbles more and more due to poor script and weak character development. The narrative begins to work at odds with the performances, backing characters into corners that seem to conflict with the relationships they have built on screen. The relationship between two families bonded by trauma proves too complex for the movie to bring home. It spins the wheels too much with the main character's emotional baggage, losing the rising tension that needs to be a part of a movie like this one. Without a proper ending to the connection between the main character and her mother, it gets lost amidst the scares. It feels more and more like it's just the sum of its parts, a platform to deliver a short horror sketch that is strung together by a flimsy narrative. The movie tries to shift its main theme from a tale of possession to an exploration of remorse, anguish, and grief. However, it feels half-hearted because the characters make mindless decisions that sort of contradict the film's themes of grief. They are all chasing a high of being possessed by who knows what, so when they themselves fall victim to what they're willingly asking for, it's hard to have much sympathy for anyone. Overall, with its interesting premise and capable scares, this movie feels like a missed opportunity. We do not recommend to watch this in theaters, just wait on your streaming service.